Hey guys, welcome to my fourth Audacity tutorial. This time we're going to do something a bit different. An experiment, if you will. Instead of editing a sound clip with Audacity, we're going to be editing an image. Madness, you say? Tell me about it. Data bending is a process that takes a certain amount of data, swirls it around in a big digital blender, and then puts it all back together in almost the right order. Here are some examples that I've done. This is the original image and this is a data bended one. I just think it's a nice little process that you can go to to give your artwork a bit of a dodgy effect. But anyway, let's get down to business. First off, pick the image that you want to bend. It works better with an uncompressed image format like bitmaps or tiffs. If your image isn't one of those types, then you can always change it using GIMP. I'll leave a link in the description for you to download that. I'm also hoping to do some GIMP tutorials in the future, so stay tuned for those as well. Anyway, after you've sorted your image out, fire up Audacity, and go to File, Import, Raw Data. This will bring up this window. So, Select your image, open, and it'll bring this screen up. Leave everything as it is, except the encoding bit. From the drop down menu, click either ULAW or ALAW. For this tutorial, I'm just going to be using ULAW. Import. Just remember which option you picked, because we're going to be using it later. Okay, so now you should see your image converted into sound. You can play it if you want. It should give you a really good crackling sound. But for this tutorial, we're not going to do that. When you've had a good listen now, select most of your audio. I'm going to do it from about here to here. And this is the area that we're going to modify. The reason why you shouldn't select it all is because if you do, it'll corrupt the whole file and you won't be able to see it. Let's go up to Effect, Echo, and leave as is. Now that shouldn't have changed the audio very much, but don't worry. You'll see the effect better once we've exported it out again. So I'm just going to give it a few more tweaks, and then we'll continue. Okay, so now that I've tweaked it a bit, let's go up, File, Export, select where you want to export it to, name it, I've done example 2, and once you've done that, go to this drop down menu, and select other uncompressed files. Then hit options. You want to change the header to raw headerless and the encoding to ULAW. And of course that's what you imported it as. So click that. Click OK. Then click save. OK, so now that's exported. Let's find it where you've saved it. Rename that to example 3, then change file format to a bitmap. Double click it, and we'll see what's happened. So, as you can see, it's been distorted more heavily here, which are the places where I've distorted it more with the echo. Anyway, thanks for listening, guys. It's been a pleasure. I just want to say thank you to all my new subscribers. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you do enjoy it, please comment, subscribe, like. Thanks a lot, guys.